Hey everyone and welcome to Mrs. Crop's Classroom. Today we're talking a little bit about author's purpose. So when we look at author's purpose, sometimes it can be a little confusing to understand what exactly the question is asking. A lot of times these questions look like, what was the purpose of the metaphor? Or what was the purpose of the word usage? Or what was the purpose of this tone? And a lot of times students get thrown by these questions because it's easy to explain what a metaphor is and it's easy to explain what a metaphor is doing, but to explain why the metaphor was used in the first place, that becomes a little bit more confusing to think about because we're not the author. We're not the ones who wrote those words. So we don't really know why the author did anything, but we can speculate and we can analyze and we can interpret different things the way that we can. So when a question is asking you, what is the author's purpose for this metaphor? We're not asking what the metaphor is. We're not asking what the metaphor is comparing. We're actually asking, why did we say it like that? Why did we use that word? For example, William Shakespeare has one quote where he says, to call a rose by any other name, it would still smell so sweet. And don't quote me on that. I know I paraphrased that metaphor. However, it's the same metaphor. But the point of it is he could have used anything. He could have used a cake. He could have used a different type of flower other than a rose. He could have used perfume. He could have used any other object in the world that smells sweet. Or he could have used something that tastes sweet and used would taste as sweet instead of would smell as sweet. But the whole point of the metaphor is that no matter what you name an object, the object is what the object is and that's the end of it. So if you think about it, the two things are very different. On one hand, you're telling me, what is the point of the metaphor? You need to show me as your teacher, you need to show your teacher that you understand what is the point of the metaphor. And that is that objects are what they are, no matter what you call them. But that doesn't tell me the purpose. That doesn't tell me why the author did it. Then you have to think, what does a rose have that other things don't? What is a rose that a perfume or cake or something else, what is it that is special to the rose? So then you start thinking about what does a rose symbolize? And this is another big thing in literature, is symbolism. So a rose is special to people because we symbolize roses with purity and truth and beauty. But all of the things that a rose signifies is different than other flowers like lilies or daisies. Those are pretty flowers, but they're not roses. Roses are special in our culture. And therefore, William Shakespeare uses the word rose specifically because it has a bigger meaning. It has a bigger impact. It has a more connective connotation. People identify with roses more than they do with other flowers, even if roses are not their favorite flower. So again, when we're looking at author's purpose, you have to go beyond the metaphor. You have to go beyond the comparison. And you need to tell me what it is about these words that truly make it important. And again, you can do this with any kind of literary device, any personification, anthropomorphism, symbolism, anything that you see in the literature, you can then think and analyze and interpret why the author did that specific thing. Why did they make that choice? And this is really important because this is the heart and soul of what an English major does. This is what English is all about, it is discovering the purpose of a text. So I really hope this helped you understand some of these questions that get thrown at you around 10th, 11th, and 12th grade when you're in high school, where you start to see the word purpose or why more often. These are the kinds of things that your teachers are trying to get you to understand. So I hope you understand it. 
Let me know if you have any questions, comments, thoughts down below. Please subscribe to our channel. I hope that you guys will continue watching these wonderful, fun, educational videos that I have lined up for y'all next week. Thanks.